parents always feel guilt. You feel guilty if you're not spending every second with your kids and now you're home with your kids all day. And um, I know I hear from parents that they get frustrated. How have you and Bryn got even closer during this time together? Because, you know, obviously you've been at home, you know, you're homeschooling, you know, a lot of, a lot of togetherness. <laughs> it's been a lot of togetherness. The meals were great in the beginning, the cooking. She I bought her these sort of kids, kids knives, like kids chef knives, but she started making, cooking her own food. She's made um, like Parmesan avocado crisps and she started eating Caesar salad, which she never even ate lettuce before. She started eating this like sesame ginger salad and making her own pasta. I mean, from like boiling the pasta to, to you know, putting it not like just pouring sauce on top, just really making pasta and cooking for herself. And she's done a ton of art. She's very artistic. So that's been great. I mean, that's my place of yes. That's sort of what I'm talking about, about shifting, pivoting, just saying, okay, how do we make this into a positive? Mm -hmm. Being together, her homeschooling, you know, you'll never get the time back as a parent. Everyone knows that. Um, and it's the truest statement ever made. So to have this time together um, is great. I mean, it's been amazing and interesting and I just love it. And it's funny because she'll be on a break from school and want to hang out, you know, as if like I don't normally work while she's at school because I don't work when I'm with her. She doesn't really know I work. Mm -hmm. So now she's on a break or lunch and it's like, oh wait, what are we doing? I'm like, I, I don't know what we're, you're usually at school <laughs> here. So I end up spending more time with her because we end up doing some art or doing something at lunch. And it's, it's been definitely different. I, it's been amazing, but people have seen how strong they can be and what they can do with their lives, their businesses and change. and think for the future, plant seeds for when things are thriving again. Yeah. I mean, what's, what would you say is the hardest part about parenting a preteen? They go through uh, emotional things at school, you know, and but being home, you know, they're, they're, they're all like slightly, slightly anxiety ridden, but they don't really know it because they're not familiar with the terms that we use. So you feel that they don't understand whether they're not seeing their friends as much. I mean, um, I think uh, that thing, the time, like basically feeling Parents always feel guilt. You feel guilty if you're not spending every second with your kids and now you're home with your kids all day. And um, I know I hear from parents that they get frustrated. Um, you know, you bicker more with your partners, with your kids, with your friends. I mean, you take things more seriously. We value time differently. I mean, everything's different, but I think it's good for us to get that exercise and see what can happen. It'll be just interesting how homeschool will be affected later. And if people will think that they can sometimes rely on that at home, like, I don't know. People will be like, wait, I don't have to go in. I can homeschool. So it's interesting. What is one thing about parenthood that you wish you knew before you had Bryn? It wouldn't matter. That, mm -hmm. I mean, that you would feel worried all the time. It doesn't make a difference in anything you didn't know you're going through. It's not, nothing's gonna, it is what it is. I love being a parent and I love that there's no perfect child or no perfect parent. So you have to go with your gut, just like in business, by the way. Go with your gut on what the right thing to do is. You don't need to crowdsource parenting tips. Moms can be judgmental and I don't believe in giving or taking unsolicited advice. If someone wants advice, I'll give it. And if someone, if I ask for it, I'll take it. But otherwise I don't believe in that.